Hey boys and girls, so I've been told that my page says DIY and I don't show anything DIY. So you're gonna get some today, all right? You know, I do outlets and light switches around the house, breakers and whatnot. And I, I just don't think I should think, and I'm not very good at that. Cause don't be an idiot. I'm gonna fix the lawnmower here, all right? That's what we're about to watch and I was quite the idiot. That's okay, because I do it, so you don't have to, all right? I can still see. All right, that's all. That's the only hint you're going to get. All right, enjoy. Lawnmower. Repair. Ready, go. Go! <laughs> Told you I was like... DIY or whatever. So like do all the stuffs. And we've got a Satoro mower here. It's not mine. It belongs to the OX. And uh first thing I look at, so it's not starting. You can pull it until you're blue in the face. This thing ain't doing nothing now. Square a little stuff down the hole, down the yapper right here. And she'll fire off until that's gone gone. And so obviously we have a fuel delivery issue. I thought I ordered the right deal here, but apparently I did not. So that's awesome. That's gonna go back to Amazon. I might just have to beat the crap out of this one and make it his chest dirty as all get out. You can't even like you can't do this. There's nothing that's gonna get through that. That poor thing's been. It's like trying to breathe through. Like trying to breathe through the you know put your mouth on a mattress and just just try to breathe. Just flat your face into a mattress and breathe normally. How long can you do that? So, I don't know. I'll figure something out in the meantime. I don't need that clean to make it run to know what's wrong with it. So, nine times out of ten, almost ten times out of ten, it's a fuel delivery issue. I wonder if this will fit on there. I guess the answer is no. And of course I don't have... And I might have the thing that goes on the deal. But probably not. So, well, I probably do. It's in that red box right there. Little socket kit. I don't feel like getting it out, though. So, we need to get this carburetor off. But before we do that, we need to get the socket set out, as I was saying earlier. Because uh, that's the really the right way, you know, to get the thing off the deal there. It's probably a... We know it's metrics. I don't know why they use metrics on everything. Well, I know why, because they're all made in another country. That's why. Probably a 10. Metric 10, metric 10. Where are you at? Let's get this on the ground, because my truck bed ain't got enough tailgate space on it. There's a 10. Oh, look. Tell you what, that's... 8 and 10 seem to be the most common metrics I've seen used um, on pretty much anything. It's righty tighty lift for Lucy, right? Uh, no, I did not empty the gas, but I do just put a, put a little clamp on the hose so it doesn't, you know, bleed right on out of there. This may not even be how you take the shroud off. But what I'm trying to do next is take off the shroud. Come on. Need a deep socket 10 so I can just spin it off. There's not one. Got a deep socket 12, but not a 10. And I don't have an extension for... Let's see if this will work. Yep. This is going to work. I said this is going to work. There we go. Just need to be able to spin it off like a screwdriver. I don't know what this is going to accomplish. I know that our auto choke here is really, really difficult to get off on the back side. You got to hold your tongue right and stick the thing in the right direction. I had to pry it backwards and bend the lip on the other side. I don't want to try and bend all the stuff, you know? I want to try and do it 
in a, that in a manner that I can get everything back the same way without having to buy new parts that I broke because I did it wrong. Oh, come on, you stupid screw. Nut, it's a stupid nut. Okay, does this thing come off now? Sure does. Oh, stuff's flop. Oh. Hey, that piece goes, just does the, the, its own thing. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. So, I'm glad I could show you, you know, firsthand. Um, yeah, did that on purpose, by the way. Glad, uh, glad we could share that with y'all. Here's my clamp here. I'm gonna clamp the gas. So we're not just spewing gas everywhere. Gonna take this hose off. Yes, this is the gas hose because we're gonna remove the whole thing. She's your, she's, she's your. Come on, get your. Oh. Sometimes they don't remove very easily. You gotta get the thing on here and do just go. It's not. Let's get a flathead on it. Start up from here and go or work our way back. I may have to pry this thing from. Yeah, I'll tell you what she's not doing. And come on, get some bolt up. Okay. Yeah, sometimes they make a shut off, and this one does not have a shut off. So I can tell you there's definitely gas in the tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back a little bit so I have a little room here. We'll use it. We'll lose a couple drops. Don't be crying. Ain't nobody crying over a couple drops of gasoline. If I could see this. Let's start it on the end. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now it's starting. We just got to start it. I should have taken a picture of this before I started it, you know, because there's some stuffs on it that I don't really think I'm going to remember how it goes back. All right. There's our gas. Dealing with jigger. Get that out of the dirt. This is the piece I was talking about. So I'm going to take... Where's my deal? Where's the thing? I have all the stuff right in front of me and I lose the thing. The spinny. Uh, golly. Let's go, Gina. Where you at? Sure. There we go. I fingered it out. It's right here. Hopefully this is still a number 10. Yep. I don't know what I'm taking off. I don't know. It's the auto choke thing. The exhaust deal. And it's a number 10. So that's what I know. All I know is pulling the auto choke lever off of this piece. You may think is easy. <laughs> it ain't easy, people. Just remember how it's on there. And I said remember. I'm the last person that's going to remember most of anything. I don't know, does it come off? It sure does. Look, there's just a little black thing right there. I don't know what that thing's for. Uh, wow, that is solid. Like, that needs, anytime you, I don't know. Sure, it's clean now. A little bit of brake cleaner. Now see, it comes right off. I don't know what to do with that. Now let's take it off of this end. But do we have to? No, you really don't, but I want to. There we go. Remember, it goes on like that. Here's a little paddle deal, little gasket thing. We're gonna get those on later. I know, I didn't show you where they went on. This part's easy to take off. This is the actual throttle. There's a guide wire and then there's your main. All right, let's get the guide wire off first. Come on, get out of the little hole thing. And then this one, you just gotta, it's gotta come straight up with it. There we go. Put those right about there. All right, here's our car, Burator. I had a uh, high school, was a high school, probably junior high shop class, telling me how to say carburetor. He says, "How you saying is car burator because of how it's spelled, carburetor." Look, man, I don't care how you say carburetor. I'm gonna say carburetor because I'm a Texan. I'm almost out of choke cleaner. Just a, I don't know, it was choke cleaner, brake cleaner, gum out, carb, and choke cleaner. Look, you can use it on your brake. It's the same stuff, people. 
No matter. Look, this one's brake cleaner. And I lost the straw, so we're gonna use the same straw. Maybe. Nope, that's a different straw. But if it's on there, we're good. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to take this thing apart, but I wanna. Whoa, hello. That's got some power to it. I wanna clean all this crap off first, because I don't wanna get the crap inside it. You probably wear gloves. I don't do as I say, not as I do type thing. When you're doing this thing. But now she's looking pretty now. So inside here, I don't know how this one comes apart. I don't know. I know I've put some junk in it just now. So we're, next thing we're gonna do is remove the bowl. That's, that's the thing on the bottom, you know, that looks like a bowl. So if you don't know, your gasoline is gonna sit in the bowl, fills the bowl up. Then the thing does stuff where like air moves and whatnot. And your air is gonna go whoosh, and it's gonna make the thing, the gas go in the needle and then to get the droplet of gas and then the air is gonna go whoosh, through the droplet and make it go whoosh, like that. See? Oh, there goes the gas. So I just explained uh, how a carburetor works. Uh, quiz, quiz will be later. Um, this is going to be really hard to get off with this tiny screwdriver or tiny wrench. I may have to, I may have to go get a thing, a backer. That's too small. <laughs> yeah, this is probably going to be too big, especially if I don't have leverage on the back side. This is the only way the bowl's coming off. Okay. You wanna play games? Play games. I got you. Uh, if you're gonna use a backer, try to use it on a surface that does not require a gasket, or you're gonna have bleed by, and then you're gonna have more problems, and you're gonna tell me I was wrong. The other bolt on there, that's just to drain the bowl, which is <laughs> what I did on the ground just now when I turned it upside down. Yeah, don't do that. Don't drain it on the ground. That's that's bad. Okay. There it goes. Man, that bolt was on there tight. All right, let's see what we got here. Don't lose your screws now. Still probably a couple drops of gas. Nope. The end of that is nasty, people. We'll be cleaning the end of that bowl screw. How does this go on here? Is it just, nope, just like that. The bowl is disgusting. It's got sediment in the bottom of it. This is a float, you know, and it tells the thing to put more gas in the deal. The float goes down, the gas goes in, the float goes up. It's pretty simple stuff, you know? Uh, let's see if this thing's gonna clean this deal out. Oh, I might have to get some rough stuff on that thing. Which is fine, as long as it's not loose. As long as it's not loose and there's no water coming into it. Because even if you have one droplet of water, your car ain't going to work. Oh, that almost went straight in the eyeball. I wouldn't imagine brake parts cleaner in the eyeballs are really good for you. All right, we're gonna let that sit right there. I don't remember which direction it went on. I don't know if it matters. It is disgusting right inside here. Uh, what I'm looking for is the jet. The jet needs to be cleaned because that's probably what's not letting stuff. Oh, that did go right in the eyeball. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, people, that stings. Oh yeah. That thing's bad. I'm gonna go do an eye flush real quick. I'll be right back. So as I was saying earlier, you know, safety is very important and it's very important to wear your safety glasses and have eye wash. Cause, uh, did I say that earlier? I think I... I yeah, just, you know, see? 
do do the thing with the glasses it's very important all right where was i after i squirted the thing and did the uh, jetter okay we're trying to find the jetter which with this thing on my face i can't see all that well i'm trying to figure out how to take this float off and take this choke out Let's see, how is this? All y'all are probably like pros at this thing. I'm not the pro, okay. This is Kohler, that's a idle adjustment. That's my throttle. So my throttle, my jetter is gonna be smack in the middle, which has gotta be what's in here. How do you take it out though? Let's see here. This little pin might come all the way out. Sure does. Let's not lose that guy. Goes right there, and then the float will come off. Float goes right there. My needle, my needle's in pretty darn good shape. Let's put this right here where nothing happens to it. I'm gonna have to look back at this to remember how it goes back together. So the needle is wonderful. We're gonna leave that right there. And then what do we got next? The thing right here, which I might need to get a little screwdriver on. And I said little, and I pulled out a big one. All my little ones are inside the house. Okay, okay I'm pulling the glasses off just to be able to see down this hole. I don't know. Let's squirt some stuff in the deal here and see what happens. How about that? No, well, stuff comes out of there, so that one's clear. And then this is where I got, you know, an issue earlier. Let's stick it down in that hole. Okay. It's fighting back a little bit at me. It's probably the one that's clogged up. Let's think about how this goes. The fuel comes into here, and it drops down here. So we know that's clear, and we know the bowl's getting filled up. This is where the fuel is coming out through here. I just can't find the top side of that. I don't know how it comes out. Maybe there's a little lock ring in there, or maybe it comes out from the top. Well, well it comes out of the side here. There's a bit of fuel comes out of there. Goes straight through the hole. That hole's clear on both sides. It looks like it's supposed to go straight in, too. Well, now I guarantee you that's clear because it's not spewing back at me. Hey, let's put this thing back together. See if lawn mowage works. How's that hole look? That hole looks great. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I do all of this to say, to do, people, that you can fix anything if you just know how it works. All right, you know how anything that runs off of gas, gasoline, or even two-stroke oil has to be able to flash whoops has to be able to flash the fuel somehow meaning that it's got to turn it's got to be the fuel air mixture in a gas form like a spray and it's got to have a certain concentration which is why these carburetors are built specifically for whatever they're in like if I put this carburetor in my weed eater <laughs> she ain't gonna run if it even fit uh, I am gonna use the same gaskets that are on there now I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit okay what's next I uh, got the thing put the bowl on bowl is clean ish I don't remember what direction it went on I do know that you want to be able to put it on in a in a fashion that you can drain it with this side plug here so let's put it on like that because that's actually how it's supposed to go <laughs> fits into a groove there you go worst comes to worst this thing don't work i got a number right here on the side i can order me a new one call it a day would have been much easier but then i wouldn't learn nothing y'all wouldn't learn nothing everybody would just been dumber if i just went and ordered a new one or we would have all been smarter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Um, what's next? I got the screws that go where? Got this thing. Got those two. Okay. I got two screws. Oh, that goes on the deal here. Let's go ahead and clean the choke. Clean the exhaust out a little bit. This is going to go straight on, but I'm going to... I said straight on. There you go. Listen to what I say before I do it. Pull this out here a little bit. Just give it a little run down. Come on. Give it a little run. Okay. Um, those two go to this thing, which I'm going to clean this thing out. My auto choke. Where's the thing? Oh, it went into this. Where? Oh, it's right here on top. That is interesting. What makes it go like this? Is it heat? I'm going to read on how this thing works. Because it looks like they're probably supposed to be a little tiny hole. That would force the exhaust to force this to turn. I don't know. Y'all know how this thing works? Put it in the comments. There's not a hole there, though. I can tell you that. I'm going to scratch it up. So, very good question. The answer is, I have absolutely zero clue. Okay, let's do this the right way. Put this side on first. Uh, just like so. And this side goes on like this. See, I already bent that thing up. It ain't going to affect the way it turns. But it is bent up a little bit. Put these little nuts back on. We're going to give it a run. If it works, then I'll post this video. <laughs> if it doesn't, then I'll delete it and we'll start over from the beginning and do something different. That's what'll happen. I ain't got no shame in my game, people. All right? No shame in my game. I'm gonna sit here and post stuff that tells you wrong. I wanna do stuff right, but, and then this doesn't seem, like I don't see how it could possibly fail. Famous last words, right? How could this possibly fail? I don't know what I just took off, but it sounded important. That fell off of that, which means I have one more somewhere. Oh, it goes on like this. That's what fell off when I first popped the lid, and there it is. So if I hadn't accidentally dropped the lid, I would have never noticed that I dropped one of the seats. Okay, we got that deal, that deal there. This is going on like that. So far, we're in line, in tune with life. That, that, that. Okay. I always recommend they, as in they, not me, to replace the gas if you're going to be cleaning a carburetor. They always say that you're cleaning a carburetor for a reason. You probably have nasty gas. They are probably right. But I am not doing that today. <laughs> so... At least not until it starts. Now, if this thing starts and it give it a little bit of brrrr, then fine, I'll, I'll dump the gas and I'll get some good stuff in it. I say good. Been, been in my can all season. So since, what, April, March? And well, here we are in September, so it's not a year old. Every year, I do replace my gas clean. Old gas. It's, so gas can't, I don't think it really gets old, okay? But over time, it can build crap in it. Non-consumables for you HVAC people. Water, stuff that, you know, doesn't belong in the thing to make the thing go brrr. I think I might pop this and bleed just a quick tidbit. Just a little bit, just to get the, the dirty out of the end. Okay, 
put our clamp back on like I said put our clamp back on go go clamp you can do it there we go air filter wrong wonderful <laughs> I don't need to put this cover on but I'm going to anyway I gotta figure out what this thing does it goes on the thing here somehow closes the deal for something I don't know sitting kind of like this maybe maybe it only lets air into a certain pocket I don't know what this does okay looks like it goes right here though because it just fell off there we go that's what it does it just you know does the air thing this goes right here like this nope like this um possibly like this hey just work it around till all your holes are clear right now all the holes are clear we're gonna say like that is the right answer okay i'm gonna put this deal on oh that's dirty let's go ahead and clean this one off too i love car cleaner you should always have more than one can of it in your garage. If you don't, you lose your man card until you can go get carb cleaner. I get super tech. Um, but I only get it because, you know, huh? Walmart's got it for dirt cheap. <laughs> so, so it sounds to me like it's the best one on the market. You know, it's got all the things a growing everything needs growing parts growing equipment all the growing things need some super tech it's 336 at walmart guys and gals sorry but you can't beat that and if you can put it in the comments so then i can go wherever you're beating it at but i tell you what when you get it on the skin it burns and i heard that if you get it in the eyeball, it burns. Because right now it's burning the good old leg. I probably should have not worn shorts. Just saying. Would have made sense to not wear shorts, but here we are. So it is what it is. Alright. Get this thing off the deal here. Oh yeah, that's burning like a moog. Like a moog. Let me get my pants off of it. I can take the safety glasses off now. Am I even recording? Oh yeah. There we go. All right. Let me lift this thing off the truck. I mean, off of my table stand, my workbench. That's what it is. Not the truck. It's the workbench. So. Here. Oh, make sure you lift with your back all the time. All the back. All right, let me take my tape off. I was trying to do two things at once. I couldn't hold the throttle, hold the throttle, I did the tape and the throttle thing and pull the deal at the same time. Oh, yeah, I meant to miss that one. That was a purpose thing. Oh. That was just leftover brake cleaner. Trying. That's how it's done, folks. Now I can actually post this one. Uh, uh, I'm pretty stoked, you know? You know what I'm mad about, though? So I pulled this up by model number, and it's the wrong one. Mad about that. Now I gotta go to the stupid 7-Eleven thing, where they take the returns, and I don't know if it'll fit. <laughs> Wishful thinking. I'm just going to give up on it. It's 
very, very obviously not the right size. So, uh, there you go, folks. Carburetor. Um, like I said, I claim to be all DIY, but I ain't done anything DIY yet. So, here you go. There's the first one. And hey, we got a teardown coming up. So, you know, um, haven't quite gotten there yet, but this fella right here, we're going to take it all the way down to the pistons. Crank, you're going to see the crank. We'll show you the valves. This guy's going to get torn down soon, I promise. Stay tuned. Like and sub if you want. If you don't, just watch. Y'all having a great day. Deuces.